Hey, what's up, Papa? What happens when you get diabetes? Okay, well, first of all, diabetes mellitus is a metabolic condition, meaning it's something wrong with the way that your body deals with certain things. Primarily, it's sugar. So normally, when you eat carbohydrates, your body converts it into sugar, into glucose, and that's what your cells use for cellular respiration or for energy, at least a lot of the time. And so your body cannot break down sugar well, or they can't lower your blood sugar levels when you have diabetes. It's two types. Type one, it's uh, your pancreas cannot release any insulin, no glucagon, and so you're dependent exclusively on food to increase your blood sugar levels, and you're dependent on insulin injections to decrease it. That's why they call it insulin-dependent diabetes mellitus. However, I don't like to use that definition because people with type two may also need insulin injections. So remember, in type one, you have no insulin. In type two, you have some. That some depends on how well you've been taking care of yourself. Sometimes you have like a vast majority of the, of the insulin that you need that you can still release. And so there's not really any major signs and symptoms. But another component of type two is that you have insulin resistance. And that means that your cells become immune to your sugar, to the insulin, and it, it's not opening up, hence the sugar's not going down, so your blood sugar's not going down. When you have diabetes, um, the glucose that's elevated and eventually something called the production of ketones, which your body produces as it breaks down fat because the cells are starving, right? Because you don't have enough insulin. So they send a signal to your brain that says, hey, I'm hungry. So your body breaks down fat. So the people with complications in diabetes develop hyperglycemia, high blood sugar levels, and ketones. They have ketones inside their body and that destroys blood vessels and nerves. And that can cause neuropathy. It can cause uh, damage to your blood vessels. And people end up developing um, abnormal circulation, they have damage to their fingers and to their toes and they can't even notice it because the nerves are damaged so they can't feel it. They can't send enough blood, uh, enough white blood cells and white blood cells in place to heal the issue. So you get complications like gangrene or different bacterial infections and then eventually you need amputations. One of the chronic issues in diabetes is you develop a diabetic retinopathy. You, your vision goes away or you start losing your vision or you develop diabetic nephropathy, which is your kidneys go bad and you develop kidney uh, kidney disease. And so that's what happens when you have diabetes. Uh, an important component though about diabetes is that exercise is important because the way that exercise works is that it lowers blood sugar levels without the utilization of, of, of insulin. And that's why when your patient's diabetic and if they're gonna go out for a run, you should have them have like a, a small a fast acting carbohydrate, like a candy or something that in case they feel the signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia, they can take it and so their blood sugar won't drop. And in essence, 